Hello everyone, Mrs. Fondra here. And today we're going to talk about a different type of art that maybe you didn't think about before. And this whole category or this idea is called visual media. Now you've maybe heard the word visual or vision before, so you see. And media, well, let's talk about what that is. All right. Um, Media can be a bunch of different types of images. So something that you might see on TV or in a magazine or in a movie or in an advertisement. So these are images you probably see often, but did you ever think about them being as art before? So let's maybe look at some ideas and talk about it, okay? So here's a magazine cover for you. Is this art? Well, most people, if you think about it, maybe would say yes, because they have to make the person on the cover who I have Taylor Swift for you today, um, they have to make her all fancy, do makeup and hair, and then they have to figure out how to put all of these words around her and make it look like something you'd want to open up and maybe buy. So um, some people would say, yeah, magazines are art because they have to make a cover look good. So you might want to take it, all right? Um, and you can see Taylor Swift, she's pretty either way, with or without makeup, but they want to try to sell this magazine. So they get her all fancy to make it even more nice to look at, right? And a lot of times for magazines and um, even like images and movies, they use this thing called like Photoshop, where they can make people look even better than they are in real life. Now, honestly, people probably don't need that, but sometimes they just want to make people look like super extra awesome. So a lot of times if you see an image, someone has toyed around with it or made it different than what it is. If you see this picture right here, they got rid of all of this lady's freckles and they even changed how bright her eye is a little bit on one side. So can't always trust what you see out there. All right. Um, here's another before and after with Photoshop. This is another famous actress. Maybe you've seen her in the Maleficent movies that were out a couple of years ago. So they're able to get rid of her skin that's not perfect, some freckles, make her eyes bright. So, Photoshop, it helps a lot of people out to make people look even more beautiful for art, maybe, right? So, back to different types of visual media here. Um, animation, or like making cartoon movies, people oftentimes would consider that art. Now, a long time ago, they would make these types of movies by drawing many, 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 many pictures and putting them together to make it look like it's moving, kind of like this flip book that I'm showing you. Because they're all drawings and if you just go fast, it tricks your brain, it tricks your mind that you are seeing these things move. But the question is now, are these newer movies art too? Because they aren't drawing every individual one, but they kind of are, if you think about it they have to make all of these on a computer. And though it's not a piece of paper and a pencil and some colors, it's not as normal art we would maybe do in class, they still have to tell the computer and the program and the points how to move and how to make it look good. So I have a couple of links in here that I'm gonna share with you in the notes below so you can watch how they made How to Train Your Dragon 2 because that's kind of a fun movie and it is really complicated and as time goes on it gets a little bit more easier for them because they change the program so it helps them out a little bit so even though it's not pencil and colors it's still type of art all right even movies with real people like you and me a lot of times they'll put in images later and they use what's called a green screen so if you look at this image right here, there's just these people walking in a building with a green background, but later they'll add in where they are. Like these ladies are all going to the airport. They're all going on a plane. So movies can be in a big studio and they never leave the same place. Even if it looks like they're in outer space or if it looks like they're in the mountains, they're just in front of a green screen, right? It's kind of an art too. Trick, trick people where you are, right? Now, Onto advertisements and other type of visual media. Um, so here's an example for you Pop Tarts. Have you ever seen Pop Tarts in the grocery store? Maybe had one before? Um, which one of these do you want more? Do you want just the wild berry? Or do you want the SpongeBob one? Because they're both wild berry. But maybe you think the SpongeBob one looks better because it has a cartoon character on it that you know, right? So, but what if I told you? What if I told you? that the Spongebob one costs $3 
and the normal Pop Tart one cost two dollars. Would you pay an extra dollar for the SpongeBob one? Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe you don't care about SpongeBob. Maybe you love SpongeBob. Let's do let's do another one. Alright. A board game. Monopoly. Have you ever played Monopoly? Maybe a different version or type of Monopoly? Um, so I have two up here. Which one would you rather play? Would you rather play the Disney Monopoly with all of those characters? Or would you rather just play the normal Monopoly? I don't know. I would say a lot of students I have say they'd rather play the Disney one because it's exciting looking. They have all their favorite characters from their favorite movies. But what I told you, the Disney Monopoly is $50. That's five zero, fifty dollars And the other Monopoly is $30. I'm just making these prices up, but would you pay 20 extra dollars just for the Disney Monopoly? Maybe. That's the whole point I'm trying to get across to you. Sometimes for advertisements, adding fun characters or fun people or bright colors really grabs your attention, so you're going to pay more for it, or your parents are going to pay more for it, all right? So, got a couple more in here. A cup. All right, would you rather have a plain white cup? Or a Wreck-It Ralph cup. I don't know, maybe you don't like Wreck-It Ralph, maybe it's not him, but I think I'd go for the Wreck-It Ralph cup because it just looks better than a boring white cup, right? Well, what if the boring white cup was $1 and the Wreck-It Ralph cup was $15? They do the same thing, don't they? They have a handle and you drink water out of them? Are you gonna pay extra? I don't know, it's something to start thinking about when you're going into stores and you see all these characters you love. I'm trying to get you to buy something. So, and this is goes for grown-ups too, right? Can you tell which cereal is supposed to be for adults and which cereal is meant for children or trying to be sold to children? See, a lot of people, a lot of students will say the tricks is for kids. I mean, that's what the bunny says, and, or that the kids say to the bunny, right? Tricks are for kids. And the other box just kind of looks boring, right? It has cereal and some fruit in there. It might look good. Maybe you'd want it. But here's a serious question I gotta know. Can Mrs. Fondre eat the trick cereal? <laughs> yeah, I can eat the trick cereal. And if you really want to, you can eat the shredded oats cereal too, right? So, because I'm sure if you look really closely on that shredded oats, it says it's a good source of fiber. Do you care what fiber is right now? Do you know what fiber is? It helps your tummy. You don't really, you don't really, it doesn't matter to you guys yet. You love tricks because it's sugary, it's bright colors, there's a cartoon bunny. They're trying to make the kids, you guys, want to buy that cereal. But I could eat it too, right? And the last one I want to show you, um, there's two TV shows, right? Um, one is uh, Adventure Time and one is Cooking with Paula Dean. all right? Which one do you think is meant for kids and which one's meant for grown-ups? Now, you probably, maybe by this point you're getting it. You're like, yep, that's a cartoon. That's probably meant for kids. But what if I told you Mrs. Fondre have seen every single episode of that? Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, grown-ups can watch cartoons too, even though um, the cooking show might be meant for adults. Maybe you really think cooking is interesting and you want to see it. You can watch cooking shows too, right? Usually those are probably meant for grown-ups because we're doing a lot of cooking in the house, right? Um, and I don't know if your parents let you hold sharp knives or chop up stuff or deal with hot stoves, but usually that's meant for grown-ups because we do that a lot. But if you like cooking, maybe it's something you want to watch too, and that's okay. So um, I'm going to quit sharing for just a moment so I can tell you what your project is, all right? So today your project is going to be making some sort of advertisement for maybe your favorite uh, favorite TV show or maybe your favorite type of cereal or your favorite board game or maybe you have a favorite pair of shoes you like and you're gonna try to sell something okay it's gonna be it's a very open-ended project where you get to pick what you're trying to sell okay I've had people try to sell toys clothes things for sports like basketballs or jerseys um, I've had people sell things for movies like action figures or dolls and um, it's going to be up to you and you're going to have to try to convince me or maybe convince your brother or sister or your aunt or uncle or convince someone to buy whatever you're trying to sell because like I said visual media has a lot to do with selling and trying to convince people to buy and buy things from you 
anyway, but it's still kind of a form of art. So if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. You really just need a piece of paper and a pencil for this. If you want to add color, that'd probably be good. Please feel free to color it in. And when you're finished, if you could turn it into either the Seesaw app or the Google Classroom. That would be great. I can't wait to see what you come up with because you can come up with pretty much anything. All right. Um, any questions, concerns, comments, please let me know. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Happy creating.